Acute aortic syndromes are a problem where the aorta, which is the main blood vessel leading from the heart and supplying blood to the rest of the body, is acutely disrupted. There's either a tear, which we call a dissection, uh, there may be bleeding in the wall, which we call a hematoma, or there may be an ulceration. All of these are along the same spectrum of disease where there's this acute disruption. Acute aortic syndromes uh, need to be diagnosed rapidly and treated rapidly because they're associated with upfront uh, uh, mortality and morbidity. You have to diagnose the problem quickly and intervene in order to give the patient the best chance of surviving. There are statistics that say that there is about a 1% mortality for every hour or so um, after the onset of an acute aortic dissection. In fact, when you look at the data, about half of patients that uh, have an acute uh, type A dissection, that's the top part of the aorta, uh, about half of them die before they reach the hospital. And those that reach the hospital, about another half die before they get to discharge. And so uh, the uh, morbidity or the, the danger part of this dissection uh, happens very early uh, in the order of minutes to hours. And that's why every minute counts in terms of diagnosis and treatment. You know, aortic dissections or acute aortic syndromes tend to happen in, in two groups of people. Most tend to be older people with risk factors like high blood pressure. But there are patients that appear, come at a younger age and they have sometimes genetic predisposition so that they have a connective tissue disorder or another condition that puts them at risk for this. And some of those patients uh, uh, have heritable conditions that can be passed on to family members or that they've inherited from a family member. And so it's important when you meet a patient to understand is this something that they've acquired just with age and with risk factors or is this something uh, where they had a predisposition that can be inherited. And once that initial assessment is done, there are other things that can be done such as genetic testing or blood tests that can help us to identify family members that are at risk. At Brigham and Women's, we developed an acute aortic syndrome program, and we did it recognizing that the optimal treatment of patients that have acute aortic syndromes requires uh, multiple specialists to come together in a coordinated way very rapidly, and without a system in place to do so, that we were at risk of delays that might uh, lead to adverse patient events. The acute aortic syndrome program involves people across multiple specialties. This includes cardiac surgery, vascular surgery, cardiology and vascular medicine, vascular imaging, emergency medicine, and anesthesia, and all of, these, all of these specialties are critical to determine the optimal care for our patients. When we formed the Acute Aortic Syndrome Program, we recognized that getting all of the key people in the same place right away when the patient arrives is critical to improve outcomes. And so uh, what we did is we developed a pager the, when it's activated, uh, either when the patient is first diagnosed or when a patient's transferred from the outside, when we know that they're coming, uh, we actually activate it before the patient arrives. And then we get all of those people within minutes into the same place, into the emergency room. Uh, they review imaging together. They see the patient uh, and determine the best treatment. We're able to accomplish that in, in uh, the order of minutes instead of hours, which we believe will improve outcomes. Patients either come in through the emergency room because they've experienced symptoms uh, or they're transferred from another hospital. When they arrive, they're greeted by a multidisciplinary team that evaluate all of the information, evaluate them, determine what the optimal treatment is. They either go to the operating room or, or to our intensive care unit. Uh, and after the operating room or intensive care unit to our step-down service, all of the time with a multidisciplinary service following them. One of the critical transitions in care is leaving the hospital and going to the clinic. And again, there the patient is followed by a multidisciplinary team coordinated with their imaging requirements. The patients that have come here with acute aortic dissection uh, in general have done very well. The patients who come in with the most dangerous kind of dissection, what we call a type A dissection, which is the top of the aorta, uh, the mortality rate's much lower than what the national average is. Uh, and for other types of dissection, it's even lower. And so overall, the outcomes have been good. And we're in the process of comparing our outcomes since the beginning of the program to those prior to the program. When a patient arrives with acute aortic dissection, of course, the acute treatment is critical. But sometimes people don't understand how critical it is to have continuity of care and long-term follow-up. Most patients that have a dissection uh, need close follow-up, and about 30% or more will need a repeat procedure 
or some other or develop some other issue in the future. So it's critical, particularly those that have endovascular therapy or those that have remaining aneurysms, other problems that they are seen uh, every six months. We have uh, an imaging protocol set up that we watch very carefully so that we know if a problem develops and we can intervene before it becomes a problem. By seeing people regularly in a multidisciplinary clinic and by having uh, very systematic follow-up imaging so that we do it at set intervals, we're able to determine if complications are developing. So if a patient starts to develop an aneurysm because they have a weakened aorta from this tear that they suffered, we can detect that early. We can notice whether it's growing, whether there are changes, and we can be thoughtful about how to best and when best to intervene uh, so it doesn't become an emergency down the road or, or worse. And so by having this uh, set uh, follow-up program, we ensure that patients are cared for in an optimal way. And through this integrated program, patients come back for one visit, they see all the doctors they need to see, and they get their imaging ideally on the same day, so that it's one, one visit really to them, but they can see multiple specialists.